What's up, y'all? This is DJ Soul Force. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be putting the the uh, Walkara G2D gimbal on my X380. First thing I did was I took the blades off because when you're uh, working with power on a X380, you want to take the blades off just to be safe. I have my SJ cam mounted on the gimbal already that's because when i do fire this gimbal up you want your camera in there already so that the gyros will uh, adjust to the weight of that camera i've already taken the stock camera mount off and on the bottom of the x380 is four four screws uh, four holes for mounting but to mount this Wakara gimbal, you only need two of those screws. And the Wakara gimbal mount lined up perfectly with the uh, two screws coming right down the middle of the belly. Uh, you can see that mount has sort of a slope to it. It's higher on one side than on the other side. So the high side goes toward the front of the quadcopter. So that was pretty easy to do. Now inside the box with the gimbal were these two little wires or connectors which is actually too short. Uh, we're going to come back to that later. The first thing you need is to get power to the gimbal and the instructions will illustrate where this plug goes in. Let's see if I can detach that this guy came with the gimbal and as you can see it's a proprietary plug that plugs into the power port of the gimbal and there's only one way to put it in so you can't get it wrong that plugs into the control board at the at the other end of that is a simple JST connector where it gets tricky, let's see if we could get the proper light here, is the pin connectors on the X380 are not marked. Of course, this is a USB pin. That's pretty obvious. Right next to that USB pin is your 12-volt power. Uh, the first pin is negative. The second pin is positive. That's 12-volt negative. 12 volt positive uh, I found a diagram for that on uh, RC groups and if I can find it I'm gonna add that link to this video the very first pin that's next to the USB port is 12 volt negative the next pin over is 12 volt positive and in a separate compartment you're gonna see three more pins that is your 5 volt power supply uh, the first one being 5 volt negative the one in the middle is 5 volt positive and the furthest pin away from the front of the quadcopter is your signal pin that signal pin is what tells the gimbal to uh, pan up and down uh, the, G the X380 will only pan up and down. It, it doesn't have a, a control switch for for uh, well, you don't have that on. This is a two-axis gimbal. If this was a three-axis gimbal, you would have uh, I believe it's a roll switch. <laughs> At any rate. When I got the X380, it came with a bag of screws, a wrench, and some Allen wrenches, and this wire was also in there. The instruction book gave no, no clues as to what this wire was for, and now that I got my G2 gimbal, I finally figured it out. Funny looking connector here, it's a pinch to release connector. If Can you guys see that? This guy fits into that first power port. Remember we said the uh, the first connector was uh, 12 volt negative and 12 volt positive. This wire came with the G with the X380. And 
and once connected to the 12 volt power supply there's a JST female here and some other kind of funky looking connector I'm gonna assume this connector is to be used for some kind of first-person view apparatus or perhaps the XK camera itself I'm not sure what that's about but we won't be needing that the JST connector you simply line up your red and black plugs perfectly right into the power supply of the gimbal we're gonna put the battery in and watch the gimbal calibrate itself we're gonna install the battery remember it's important to have your camera mounted in the gimbal the first time you fire it up because that gimbal is gonna level itself out based upon the weight of your camera it takes a few seconds and voila we do have power to the gimbal and it appears to be working properly now the X380 has a uh, pan up and down button on its transmitter and what we need for that that would be one of these cables that came with the uh, G2D gimbal but the, the controller for the G2D gimbal has connecting pins uh, one for pitch one for roll and one for auxiliary because uh, with the GoPro camera this controller would also uh, enable you to start and stop your video or to shoot a picture the G2D came with two of these harnesses and like I said they're just a tad bit too short man if I had a half an inch more on that it would be perfect the X380 has a control for for uh, pitch or in other words pan up and down and that would be your first set of pins here or is looking at it with the writing side up this pin or this connector would go into those first set of pins or the bottom set of pins this connector also connects perfectly into the uh, 5 volt power supply for the X380 uh, remember the first one was negative the one in the center is uh, positive 5 volt positive and the one furthest away from the front of the clock copter or to our right right now is your signal pin what I plan to do is oh by the way I almost forgot to mention to enable the t the, the, the pan or the tilt to work all we really need is that signal pin I, I don't need the 5 volt negative and the 5 volt positive all I want is uh, uh, to connect to that one pin but I'm gonna use this wire harness I'm gonna cut the red and black wire off I only want the wire the uh, white wire which after I plug that in this is another one that will only fit one way this connector came with the with the gimbal itself and you can see it's just a tad bit too short to get over that hump and make that connection it's just a little bit too short so since it came with two of them and I only need one of them I'm gonna do some splicing and we'll come back and take a look at it and see if it works afterwards okay now what I've done was uh, I took the uh, two wire harnesses this wire came with the G2D gimbal and it's made to fit right in these ports 
there's three sets of connectors off the back of the uh, controller. The bottom set of connectors is for the pitch function. The set in the middle is for roll and the set at the top is auxiliary. <coughs> the uh, X380 will only give you f control of the pitch from the transmitter and to trigger that we only need to tap into the signal pin. Now this is a three wire harness and initially it wasn't long enough to reach so I cut two ends off. I spliced together two of these wires to make it long enough to reach down there. Now keep in mind I, I only need the white wire because uh, when this connector goes into this into these pins the white wire lines up with the signal control is uh, exactly what we needed to fire uh, to trigger pitch on the gimbal I taped them all together but actually the red and black wires from each side of this I cut well short of each other so they will never be able to touch if from what everything I've seen on YouTube uh, some of the other guys who've done this already I should be ready to go transmitters already on I'm gonna put the battery in Okay. <laughs> She's playing her song. Oh, sucky sucky now. <laughs> Look like I got a better setting than I got before. Gimbal set up. It's doing its basic leveling function. Now let's test the pitch commands or the pan. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, now I can adjust the tilt angle of my gimbal from my controller. It works. This is the Wakara G2D gimbal attached to my XK Detect X380 and this whole process took me about 15 minutes <laughs> I could have done it in five minutes if I had known what I was doing I spent another 10 minutes trying to decipher the owner's manual for the gimbal oh look at there she'll go all the way up and take a picture of the bottom of the quad and what looked like worked out for me is the SJ cam lens lined up perfectly center of the quadcopter because I've seen some guys with the gimbal and they're shooting the legs and the prop guards I'm pretty sure my prop guards are gonna show too but uh, the prop guards are optional I can take these off in a, a couple of minutes or less okay guys that was it that's the G2D gimbal I believe I bought that on eBay for about $68. I'll put that link in the video. Uh, all the wires I needed. The power connecting cable came with the X380. And the uh, control cable came with the G2D gimbal. So I was hooked. I didn't have to wait for more additional parts. Alright, this is DJ Soul Force, I'm out of here.